got a video I want to go over. Um, first, just to let you know, I did not create this entirely. Um, I was looking for a small sewing kit for to add, to add to my current gear. And I found Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft channel on YouTube. And he was using this kit. <clears throat> and I had seen... I had seen it on Amazon before, but I wasn't sure of the size. And once I watched his video, I was like, that's, that's about the size I'm looking for. Um, but he had added a lot of stuff to it to make it even better. And I took and added a lot of the same things that he added, but I also changed it up some. So I'll link to his YouTube channel. Where you can go watch his version of this kit. And I'll go ahead and give you an overview of what I did to it that's maybe a little bit different. Um, so this could be a very small survival kit for one. It has a lot of not only sewing but fishing and trapping and um, some other uses inside of here. And I like it that it's so small. Um, that was really what I was looking for to begin with. Now, when you get all the stuff I added to it, it's considerably thicker. And um, let me go ahead and just open it up and show you I'm going to take out most of the stuff that I added to it so you can see how small it would normally be. No, I mean, normally it is really small. So, open this up. And these bobby pins and the hair barret braids and these needles I added to it. But what it comes with, it comes with some thread and some small scissors and an assortment of buttons and needles and safety pins. Now there's a lot of ways that Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft goes over how the hair braids and the the hair clips can be used. One of the things that I did different, you can see it here, is I added a curved needle. That curved needle would be a lot easier if you had an injury that required sutures and you were going to have to suture yourself up. That curved needle is key. A straight needle works that curved needle is really key for getting down under the skin and I know that because I've gotten many fish hooks in my skin and you're trying to pull out something straight or push something in straight which I've had to do is not not an easy job because skin is flat itself so you need something that can get down and under and that curved needle is key Um, there are also, I added some 24 gauge stainless steel wire, which can be made into traps. I believe that he and his kit said his were 14 inches. I made mine 20. Um, so you got that in there where you could make a couple of traps. This is a spool of fishing line. Um, he used regular monofilament line. I think he said 10 pound test. This is 30 pound spider wire. Now spider wire, even though it's 30 pounds, the size is only about equivalent to four or maybe six pound monofilament. So there's actually pretty close to 100 feet of line on this little card. 
and with it being 30 pound, it's much stronger than 10 pound monofilament. Now this is a braided line, even though you can't tell it. It looks like a single line, but it's actually braided. And if you had to, you could separate the braids for sutures or something to that effect. There's also an assortment of safety pins. There's a lot of uses for safety pins, not only medical and sewing. Uh, so I've got basically five different sizes. Most of them I have four of. The largest one I only have two of. This is some Gorilla Tape. And inside the Gorilla Tape are three razor blades. The razor blades can be used as a cutting implement. Can be used to skin and process game. A lot of reasons for razor blades. There are three of them. They are still in the protective cardboard. Um, and basically you take a knife and cut them out. Or I did this so they could be pulled apart. Is also in there. This is another Gorilla Tape that has an assortment of fish hooks. Now, one of the things that I added to this, he had a plastic concealment handcuff key in his kit that was kind of separate more like the button style you could sew into a garment really quick um, I put an actual metal Smith & Wesson handcuff key in mine the thought theory was you know that would be kind of an evasion item and although I don't expect an evasion item out in the middle of the woods you never just really know in this day and age, especially how things are starting out in 2021. So my theory is if I really needed this and I knew that I was going to be captured, you could um, use this the same way they get materials into jail cells which is basically swallow it prior to capture then you got a handcuff key that's going to come out at some time in the future there is also another gorilla tape that has an assortment of larger needles and even a larger curved needle you can see it there, the outline of it. And basically the Gorilla Tape is just to protect the ends. Fold it over, it same, has the same pull tab top. And then finally, although my kit already has water purification tabs, this is 10 Aqua Tabs that fold over and fit inside there. So that's pretty much the kit and the modifications I made. But again, it wasn't my idea. I just kind of liked how the kit worked and stayed really compact. And again, I will link to Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft channel where he uses the same kit. His is a little bit different. And uh, that's where I got the idea from. So first, I'm going to give a shout out to the owner of Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft and uh, for giving me this idea and explaining his kit very well. And as always, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your homestead. And hopefully 2020 turns out or 2021 turns out better than 2021. Thanks for watching.